Classic car alert. Wow, look at that engine. It's missing the floor, everybody. This is Laura Fan, 1970. I'm standing in front of the apartment complex, uh, hotel, and uh, community room. But they say it's abandoned, but it looks like partially abandoned. There's people living here, so definitely going to respect their privacy here. Not going to be picking any windows. Just focusing on the building itself. And probably the history. Huh. Show you something neat. The other day is it pretty big right there. <laughs> I don't know what it was like in its heyday. Definitely need some TLC, a little rust dolly, a little lot of paint. Yeah, probably have the funds for that. Probably the economy the way it is, especially hmm, what's going on in Europe right now, which I'm not going to focus on. I'm trying to bring positivity in the world. <laughs> you can only hear so much bad news. Hmm. Taking a break from it. Definitely tell. <laughs> this is from way back when. Nice to see it still being used. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's not completely. <sighs> Bad break. It's probably a palm tree. Mm. Well, yeah. I don't know what I could do with this fence. Yeah. Yep. Blacked out needs work. Betcha this was busy once upon a time. Yeah, it's got a log on it. <laughs> if it's used, it's probably when I'm not here. Mm -hmm. Not too far away from here. It used to be a, a roller skating park. But it's right behind me here. It's apartments now. Sad. I guess when the old guy died, uh, they had everybody to pass it on to, so. I know it was open temporarily to strip off all the floors. It was fun while the time lasted. You know, just a minute. Now, once upon a time, I think it was like a small basketball court. Still, I had a lot of fun. I imagine years from now this will be totally abandoned. From what I found online, uh, they moved the offices across the street. Uh, well, I know something good will happen. Big Brother is watching you. <laughs> yeah, I've been here before. I imagine that had a cover. Uh, probably green like the rest of it. Mm. Brick. Wow, this place is very old. Mm. Oop. Mm. Not gonna show you that when it's broad. A lot of uh, modern buildings don't have style. Hmm. Uh, the house where I'm from. Uh, I think I know where the motor went. I could snap in half if they're not careful. Bet you that's how it looked originally. Is there no truth in advertising? Looks like apartments 
and uh, there's gonna be a Starbuck restaurant here. Hmm. And there's the contact information. Hmm. Yeah, and it's a good thing I filmed it. <laughs> Might not be here for long. Just only the foundation. It's a little faded. It's kind of neat. It's probably the harbor. Yeah, and there's the lighthouse. <laughs> and ripples in the water. Credit to the artist here. Kayeb Smith. Sorry, I might have butchered the first name. Apologies. <laughs> Busy today. You're wondering what popular place I'm on. 101, that is our version of Route 66. Hmm. I'm going to do something about this. Talk about the history of the 101. But not right now, for later on. Ugh, another camera. It's probably for speeders. And they zoom through here, they got their license plate. Yeah. It's probably a problem intersection. It's gonna be hard to leave this place. Beautiful weather though. Yep, I'm next to the ocean. Um, I see the seagulls about as far inland as the area I'm at uh, near the college bridge. And I'm back. <laughs> this is what I'm watching right now. It's a documentary on baseball by Ken Burns. It's really fascinating. <laughs> I'm watching a lot. <laughs> Waiting for the strike to end. Hopefully they come to an agreement because this can't go on forever. Yeah. And come to think of it, it's happened before. You know, this agreement between players and managers. Um, actually, he's having control over players. Um, let's see. All ball players that agreeing. You know. <laughs> Some have really got into the game. Some had bad tempers. Um, some came from farming backgrounds. Some came from wealthy backgrounds. <sighs> you name it. <laughs> it started like a, with Abner Double Day, and they say it's a cross between well, rounders and cricket. But you're going to have to see the. Documentary for yourself. It's fascinating. You know, it was put on PBS a while back. You know, he's done that and Civil War at Jazz, um, World War Two. Yeah, I don't know if he's done World War One yet. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing him doing the, the history of video games. That would be very interesting because it does have a colorful history. Well, they probably. Started beginning with Pong and probably even before that, you know, the roots of it, you know. It's mm -hmm. basic beginnings to. <laughs> After uh, Military Solid came out, it, <laughs> games got cinematic for the first time. They were like movies, you know. In fact, the lines between video games and movies are blurring. So, there is a movie made about a video game and a video game made about a movie or somewhere in between. That's just, hopefully when they do something like that, hopefully uh, it does not suck, you know. Uncharted, uh, for example, you know. I remember saying uh, it was either fans or the people themselves, even Norman Norris, you know, uh, didn't want the movie to be made, but... Hmm. He's got Tom Holland's blessing, so <laughs> that's why I remember hearing about it. Um, as long as it goes to the tone of the games, you know, you don't try to, like, 
make uh, the stunts look just like out of the video game. You know, it should be in the same spirit of it, but totally, you know, coming from a totally different angle. We gotta remember the roots are the same thing that, uh, you know, games like Lara Croft, you know. I've heard the, their inspiration was like, uh, you know, the Raiders of the Lost Dark series, you know. The Temple of Doom and the Last Crusade, you know. I just like the game because it was totally engrossing, you know. It's like a good book, you just can't put it down. <laughs> I must have spent hours on it just to finally finish it and then just kill the Easter eggs and the extras. And <laughs> you know, come to think of it, well, North and me were born uh, probably around the same time and graduated the same year. Hmm. Lucky. Yeah, <laughs> just to do. Not only provide the voice, but do the motion capture at the same time. That's why the interactions look so realistic. You know. And it's going to get even more realistic, you know. But still, there's an uncanny valley, you know. They can't seem to, you know, get the, the, the human aspect right. You know, it still it looks kind of robotic. Well, maybe they'll be able to fix that someday. In the meantime, I don't think they're going to take the place of actors anytime soon. It still needs a human element and intervention. <laughs> you know. But for all the graphics, they, do, they still have to do the animation manually. <laughs> I bet they reference some motion capture uh, sessions to see what expressions they're having when they deliver those lines. Yeah. <laughs> Ready out for breezy outfits. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll see what I'm into. Currently, I'm doing, um, yeah, the Vision 2 and uh, Cyberpunk. I had a little trouble with Cyberpunk because. Uh, my controller's kind of messed up in the analog. Uh, it keeps on pointing uh, things to the ceiling. It's like, this all the time. <laughs> uh, good thing I didn't <laughs> pull the controller. <laughs> Tossed the game case across the room, but it's not going to hurt anything. <laughs> it would damage the controller, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> I have to get a new one. Then I'll get the, this one refurbished. <laughs> one that's up. Mm. Mm. Sitting down here. <laughs> yeah, from Amazon. But still, you gotta make sure where you lay it, or the floor wraps around your leg and it bounces off the floor. Or it wraps around this, around the chair, bounces off the floor. Um, I forget where it is. Uh, stand up. And the headset cable yanks it off the bed. It's on the floor again. <sighs> this time I think I'll leave it on the floor. When I step out. <laughs> and then hang it up while I'm done. Well, anyway, that's all for now. I'll we'll be uh, editing the rest of the video. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to be looking at uh, two book reviews, but I'll publish those as well. And give credit where credit is due. So, if you like this video, subscribe. And that, tap that bell. It keeps you in the loop. While you're at it, get a thumbs up. Let's me know you're out there. That's all for now. Later, stay tuned. <laughs>